Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Just Another Gamer. Today I'll be showing you all my PS4 collection, which is just over 150 games. I really like collecting for the PS4, it's become my equal favourite console alongside the PS2. I'm not a fanboy, just to say, I actually collect every single console and games on every console. So for me it's all about the games, not the platform I'm playing on. I couldn't care less about the platform, so yeah, um, here he goes. Uh, so the first game I have is Absolute Drift, which is a limited run games release. Second game is Axel World vs Sword Art Online. I'm actually really looking forward to playing this. Aegis of Earth I don't know if I pronounced that right but anyway who cares Area which was a uh, Sadesco Play Asia exclusive Akiba Strip, Undead and Undressed, Alchemic Jousts, this is another Play Asia exclusive by East Asia Soft. Anima, Gate of Memories Aragami Arzan the Warriors of Legend As Divine Hearts which is another limited one games release Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, which is my favourite Assassin's Creed game. Assassin's Creed Unity. Assassin's Creed Syndicate Asterbreed, which is another limited one games release Atelier Fearis. I'm a big fan of the Atelier series. I've been collecting them since the PS1. Atelier Sophie. Avon Colony, this is an awesome city building game, uh, I recommend anybody who likes city builders to buy this, uh, fantastic game with fantastic controls.
Batman Arkham Knight Battlefield 4 I'm not a Battlefield fan The only reason this is in my uh, games library is because I got it in a trade with other games Blaze Blue, Chrono Phantasma Extend Blaze Blue, Central Fiction The Blaze Blue series is a fighting game series It's actually pretty good and has a good storyline Blue Rider, which was the first PlayAsia exclusive uh, release by East Asia Soft on the PS4. Broken Age, which is another limited one games release. And this comes in a sleeve as you can see here the game comes out caveman warriors which is another play asia exclusive by east asia soft this only arrived a few days ago Chariot, which is another limited one games exclusive. Child of Light. I actually bought this uh, from JB Hi-Fi when they had them on special. And as you can see the box is pretty damaged because they sent it in a uh, padded envelope. This is great shipping on their part. Constructor. I actually have this game on the PS1. I used to play it a lot, even with all its bugs. So I was pretty stoked to get the new copy as well. Crash Bandicoot and Saint Trilogy The Crew Cursed Castilla X which is another play Asia East Asia Soft exclusive Cyber Dimension Neptunia for Goddesses Online. I'm actually currently playing this at the moment. I'm really enjoying this game. I'm a big fan of the uh, Neptune games. I also have the uh, Japanese limited edition box of this, of the same game. The back of it. And I also have the, uh, the Australian limited edition box. Although the back of it is not as good as the Japanese one. Danang Wampa, Ultra Despair Girls
dark sided, dark siders, I should say. Dark siders two. Dead or Alive 3 uh, This I got from Play Asia and has English subtitles so I can at least play it in English Deception 4 The Nightmare Princess Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Digimon Story World. I actually prefer this over Cyber Sleuth. I am looking forward to the new one that's coming out, Hacker's Memory. Disgaea 5. Dishonored Dishonored 2 Dragon Age Inquisition Dragon Quest Builders Day 1 Edition Dragon Quest Heroes Dragon Quest Heroes 2 Dragon Ball Xenoverse 15 or XV however you want to call it Dreamfall Chapters. I'm actually really looking forward to try this game. I've been told uh, by a number of people that this is a good game. I actually uh, bought this game because I saw Radical Reggie on YouTube play this game and talk about it. So yeah, I, I really want to try this one out. Drive Club Earth Defense Force four point one
The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Exist Archive Really looking forward to trying this one out as well Fairy thanks at F, Advent Dark Force. As you can see, a lot of my games are still sealed. I don't get enough time to play games with my line of work, so yeah. But I do still love collecting them. Fallout 4. Far Cry 4 Far Cry Primal Fight Extera FIFA 17 Final Fantasy Type 0 HD Final Fantasy X X2 HD Remaster Final Fantasy Twelve: The Zodiac Age Final Fantasy Fifteen The Deluxe Edition of Final Fantasy XV Fury, which is another limited one games release Gal Gun Double Piece. I do have another version of this, but I'm not actually going to show it here because I've got it in Melbourne, not where I'm living at the moment. Game of Thrones, a Telltale game series. I haven't played this yet. I actually haven't played any of the Telltale games yet. But I have seen them, my friends have been playing them lately. Ghost Played HD, which is another PlayAsia exclusive by East Asia Soft. I was actually really happy I got this. The Girl and the Robot Another great game by Sudesco
God Eater 2. Grand Kingdom <coughs> Grand Theft Auto 5 Grand Turismo Sport Collector's Edition I'm not a big fan of steel cases, I don't like when they don't have the name on the spine. That always annoys me. Gravity Rush Remastered. Guacamole, which is another limited release by, I believe it was Special Reserve Games, but don't hold me on that. I can't remember which company it was. It wasn't PlayAsia or or Limited One Games. It was some other company. Hatsune Miku, Project Diva X. Infamous First Light Infamous Second Sun Joe Toon I believe that's how they pronounce it. This is another limited one games release. Just Cause 3 Collector's Edition. The box is pretty big so I can't actually show it here. Kill Zone Shadow Fall Knack Lara Croft and the Temple of Osiris The Last Guardian The Last of Us Remastered Lichdom Battle Mage Lily, which is another limited one games release. I also got the uh, limited edition version, which comes in the uh, actual sleeve.
Miracle Big Planet 3. Lego Big Planet 3 Extras Edition One of my favourite box sets is uh, Little Nightmares This is 6th edition Comes with a little figure on the inside Lux Quest Lords of the Fallen Mafia 3 Deluxe Edition Mass Effect Andromeda Mega Dimension Neptunia 7 Minecraft PlayStation Edition If I'm going too fast just pause the video Mitsurugi Kamui Hikai which is another limited one games release Mortal Kombat 10 another steel case that doesn't have the name on the spine that really pisses me off This is probably the shittiest game in my library, NBA 2K17. I got this uh, in a bundle of games that I got traded. Uh, I didn't want this game, but it came with the bundle. And yeah, uh, shit game. Don't buy it. Don't buy any NBA game. They, they suck. My favourite one is still NBA Jam on the Game Boy. Or the Super Nintendo. I have not found... Uh, uh, basketball game that I've liked since those. Night Trap, this was a limited one game's release. I was very lucky to get this, this sold out in like 28 seconds. And I also have the collector's edition of Night Trap for the PS4. And this was part of the Limited One Games release. Knights of Azure. Nitro Blasters have an infinite jewel. Uh, 
and this one is one of my favourite pickups of 2017, Ocean Hall. I'm a big fan of this game, really love this game, and I wanted the, uh, the physical version of it. This is a release by Limited Run Games. Odin Sphere, another fantastic game that I wanted for the PS4. Amiga Quintet. One Piece Pirate Warriors 3 As you can see I'm into RPGs and anime games That's what I mostly collect But I collect pretty much everything One Way Heroics Which is another limited one games release The Order, 1886. Persona 5. This comes in the sleeve, as you know. Um, this is a still book, but I actually like that it has the name on the spine, so it's easy to find on the on the shelves. Pharaonic Deluxe Edition. Ratchet and Crank Risk of Rain which is another limited one games release Live, which is another Play Asia, uh, what's it focuses here? There we go. Which is another Play Asia exclusive by East Asia Soft. And I also have the alternate cover version, which is the orange or reddish cover. The back is the same. Romance of the Three Kingdoms 13 Root Letter Thanks, row four. Semispheres, which is another Play Asia exclusive based Asia Soft.
and I also have the uh, the blue version of this. Is Sangran Kagura Estival Versus. I'm waiting for Peach Beaks brush to arrive, but that's probably going to be just before Christmas. Shadow of Mordor. Shadow of the Beast, which I got from Play Asia. Slain, Back From Hell. Star Ocean, Integrity and Faithlessness. Stargew Valley, one of my favourite games, I actually play this mostly on the PC, but I did buy the uh, PS4 version to have it and support the developer as well. Strafe, which was a limited one exclusive but released by someone else, actually, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, Special Reserve Games is the one that released this, but it was sold on Limited One Games as well. Super Dungeon Bros. Sword Art Online Hollow Realization. I'm a big fan of the Sword Art Online series, so I had to get all the games. Sword Art Online Lost Song. I also have a Hollow Fragment on the PS Vita and on uh, PlayStation 4. Uh, from the store, you can buy you can buy Hollow Fragment from the PlayStation Store. Tachyon Project, which is another Play Asia exclusive by East Asia Soft. Tales of Bezeria Tales of Zestiria Tailway. The only reason I got this on the PS4 is because it was $10 at Target, so it was a bargain, uh, so I got it to have it in the collection. It is a lot better to play this on the PS Vera. Tohu Gensho Rondo, Bullet Ballet.
Tokidan Kiwami Tokidan Tu Trials Fusion Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom 3 Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection Uncharted 4, A Thief's End Utaware Rumonga, Mask of Deception Valkyria Chronicles Remastered Europa Edition And this comes in a sleeve. Um, comes with, it, with the game. And then you also get a little uh, booklet as well that comes with it. And it's got some artwork. Which is pretty cool. Sorry about the light glare. Take a second to put this back in. Valkyria Revolution. The Walking Dead, the complete first season. I'm actually looking forward to play these once I get the other ones as well. I just want to play them in one sitting. That's why I haven't started yet. Watch Dogs. I played this game for a whole, you know, 30 minutes and then I was done. Haven't played it since. Not one of my favourite games. Wipeout Amiga Collection. I actually really enjoy this. The Witch and the Hundred Knight. Of course, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. If you've got a PlayStation collection and doesn't have this game in it, you don't have a PlayStation collection. Wonder Boy The Dragon's Trap, which is a limited one games release. This is the alternate cover. These are reversible covers as well, but 
I like to not open the game, so I keep them this way. World of Final Fantasy. Worlds of Magic, Prana Conquest. World to the West. Worms Battlegrounds Yonder the Cloud Catcher Chronicles This Origin, this is the uh, Limited One Games release. There was another one released by PlayAsia. This is the uh, PS4 East Origins Limited Edition box by uh, Limited One Games. And this is the uh, Play Asia version of it. And the last game that I've got here is Ziggurat. So that's the last game I've actually got on my PS4 here. I've still got a lot of games coming though. And I've got a lot of pre-orders for next year as well. So my next year video will have a lot more games in it. So yeah, thank you for joining in and checking out my video. If you liked it, please leave a like and a comment and subscribe. And I'll be doing more videos soon. Thank you.